DeepSeq R1 is a powerful language model, but running it requires significant computing resources. To make it more accessible, distilled versions were created using Quen and Llama, two smaller open source models. These models were then trained with data from DeepSeq R1 to capture aspects of its reasoning and style. Distilled models are not smaller versions of DeepSeq R1 like those created through quantization. Instead, they are entirely different models built to run on hardware that can't handle the full DeepSeq R1 model. Instead of shrinking DeepSeq R1 itself, these models are created using a process called knowledge distillation. A smaller model is trained to learn from a larger one. The larger teacher model provides answers, and the smaller student model picks up patterns from these responses while using fewer parameters. This makes the student model easier to run on lower-end hardware, but some of the teacher's capabilities are lost along the way. That trade-off means the student model will almost always be less capable than the teacher model in some respects, such as raw accuracy, the ability to handle complex or nuanced tasks, and overall knowledge depth. Distillation isn't the only way to make DeepSeq R1 smaller. Another approach is quantization, which reduces the model's size without replacing it with a different one. While this makes it less demanding, even heavily quantized versions of DeepSeq R1 remain too large for most home computers and require powerful hardware to run. DeepSeq R1 was trained using 32-bit FP32 precision for accuracy and stability, but typically runs at 16-bit BF16, or lower during inference, to improve efficiency. Quantized versions use even fewer bits per value, like 8-bit, 4-bit, 2-bit, or even 1-bit, further reducing memory usage. But lower bit precision reduces how accurately the model processes information, leading to a drop in response quality. Quantization works by converting the model's weights from high-precision floating-point numbers to lower-precision values. Instead of storing numbers in 32-bit or 16-bit formats, quantized models use formats like 8-bit integers, or even lower, which take up less space and require less computation. For example, the full DeepSeq R1 model in FP16 precision has a file size of 1.3 terabytes. An 8-bit quantized version is 713 gigabytes, while a 4-bit version is 404 gigabytes. These reductions help, but even the smallest versions still need powerful hardware. For most people, and even smaller organizations, DeepSeq R1 size creates significant deployment challenges for local use, making distillation and quantization essential for improving accessibility and usability. Distillation replaces DeepSeq R1 with a smaller model, trained to capture aspects of its reasoning and style, making it possible to run on nearly any home computer. Quantization shrinks DeepSeq R1 by reducing precision, making it more efficient, but still requiring server-grade hardware. Distilled models trade some accuracy for efficiency, while quantized models retain more of the original model structure and reasoning but remain difficult to run outside of powerful systems.